Snot is an artist you either just became aware of or someone you've known about forever. He is one of the true SoundCloud legends left. In the past month, Snot has had back-to-back -back lyrical lemonade videos, which is something we haven't seen Cole Bennett do since Juice World in 2018. More people than ever are discovering Snot, but how did he get here? Well, it's definitely not dumb luck or a hot TikTok song. It was slow and steady. My name is Patrick CC. Make sure you're hydrated while watching this video. The South Florida rapper had his first official release July 30th, 2016 with the song By Myself, which to my surprise sounds a lot like the music that he makes today. Just a lesser quality version, of course. For the first two years of his music career, he pretty much did what any aspiring artist would do. Just make songs, post them on SoundCloud, YouTube, etc make friends with other smaller artists in the underground scene and just grind it out. Oh, and the whole time, he had that hoodie pulled real tight. In April of 2018, he dropped his first EP called The Tissue Files, which in my opinion was a really important moment because it feels like after this EP was when he really started to put out high quality music. I feel like everything before April 2018 was lower grade production and him just trying to find his sound. In the summer of 2018, Snot linked up with a buzzing artist named Josiah. Snot said that Josiah used to buy repos from him, but he liked his music a lot, so they decided to do a song together. This song was called Case 19. When they dropped it, it quickly started blowing up, and it was actually the first song that either of these artists had that gained 1 million streams. This was huge for them, but then at peak virality, the song was removed. But why? Josiah had recently signed with Atlantic Records and they wanted a big feature for his biggest song, so they decided to take Snot off and replace him with the one and only 6 9 And as you can imagine, the fans didn't like that very much. The label needed 6 9 for a big boost in views, even though he was in jail and couldn't even show up for the music video. This situation spiraled into an alleged beef between Josiah and Snot. Josiah, let him do his thing, bro. I got nothing to do with him, bro. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of shit talked about me, but y'all all know this, I don't say shit because I don't care. But I think that this beef was kind of exaggerated and accelerated by the fans. Because in the beginning of 2020, they would actually end up going on tour together. And the only reason I brought up the beef is because, well, it gets views and it gets attention. In almost every interview I looked up about Snot, the interviewer would be asking about Josiah and about their beef. Uh, so, me and Josiah, song got like hella big and then the fucking I don't know, I guess a label signed him, and then I I guess I had to get off the song, you know what I'm saying, and get replaced with 6 9 So even if it was fake, it got people interested, it probably introduced them to who Snot was, therefore, in some way, helping him, and helping his career. In the middle of all of this Josiah drama, he dropped Gosha which is actually still his biggest song to this day. Gosha was a massive step up in his quality and this is where his numbers started rising. One month later, the video drops on Elevator, which is an established platform for underground artists to reach a larger audience with their music videos. This was a huge help getting Snot to a larger audience and was the very beginning of his climb. Nice train, red ball man. Train swing, light pretty thing. February 1st, 2019, Snot posted a song called Excuse Me, which was on its way to being a huge hit. It was almost like Gosha Part 2. The fans loved that song. But unfortunately, the original owner of the song he sampled was threatening to sue him if he did not remove it. He didn't want any money, he didn't want any compensation. He wanted Snot to remove it because it was too vulgar. Cringe. So yet again, Snot had to remove another one of his biggest songs. Little did Snot know, after this, he wouldn't have to delete any more songs, and things were about to get really good. April of 2019, Billie Eilish posted a video of her listening to Gosha on her Instagram story. She didn't tag Snot in this post, but her fans would eventually find out who he was, and he told me that he gained like 10,000 Instagram followers from that. 
In June of 2019, Snot's song Billy Boy was featured in the pilot episode of the HBO show Euphoria. Snot told me that the director, Jennifer Morrison, wanted some music for the show and came across him on Spotify. He was unsigned at the time, so it was really easy for them to do business and get the song cleared for the show. I'm not really sure how much traffic this gained for him. Don't know if he had a large jump in streams or a big jump in followers, but being a SoundCloud rapper and getting your song in a massive Hollywood production, I feel like is a pretty good stamp of approval from the entertainment industry. Sometime in the summer of 2019, Snot's manager Jake Markow quietly used his industry connections to get Snot a distribution deal with 300 Records. I say quietly because Snot never made an announcement that he signed, and I mean, let's be honest, Snot does everything quietly and tucked behind his hoodie. By the end of summer of 2019, Snot had released bangers like Megan, Vision with Lil Tracy, and Beretta with Wi-Fi's Funeral. All of these songs were absolutely buzzing and the consistent quality of his music was becoming more and more apparent. Like I said before, in the beginning of 2020, the beef was over between Snot and Josiah, and they were hitting the road on a 17-show North American tour. <laughs> which was cut short because of, well, you know. In March of 2020, Snot drops his debut album called Tragedy, which is phenomenal, by the way. This project was a compilation of already released songs on SoundCloud, and some new ones, of course. And for the rest of 2020, Snot just did what he does best. Chill, release good quality music consistently. Oh, and he had a couple of cameos in Danny Duncan's videos. Hey, is that Papa Jim's house? <laughs> Since it's your birthday, I brought you your favorite rapper. Papa. <laughs> oh. God damn. <laughs> Danny has been very open about Snot being his favorite rapper and has promoted his music to his millions and millions of fans pretty regularly. I was actually talking to Snot on the phone last night and he told me that when he first started becoming friends with Danny and they started hanging out, that Danny said to Snot, don't forget me when you're famous. <laughs> Which was funny coming from Danny at the time because he was way more famous than Snot is, but probably not for long. Then in September of 2020, he releases this single to the new project called Revenge with a lyrical lemonade video. Sometimes I can really be fucked up. Ain't nothing much to say, but hey, goodbye. Finally, Cole Bennett and Snot decide to link up, the collab that the underground has needed for so long. Then they followed up with another lyrical lemonade video, which actually had a funny cameo with Danny Duncan portraying a police officer. I'm a real nigga. I'm a fuck a bitch real quick in my slippers. Yo. And both songs generated millions of views, obviously, because the songs are fire and Cole Bennett is also fire. Snot got the Juice World treatment, and it's huge for him. And it's pretty much the go-to way for an underground artist or an upcoming artist to gain a large new audience other than going viral on TikTok. And since then, Snot has gained a massive amount of new fans. Snot's fame or success hasn't come from a hot TikTok track or one hot viral moment. It's just been from him working hard, making good quality music, and just being himself. He has done the internet music game the way I feel like it's supposed to be done. Build a small team, work harder than everybody else, be consistent, and just make good music. I look up to Snot. I think he represents what a new age artist should be and how they should approach their careers. It's not gonna happen overnight. Slow and steady. My name is Patrick CC. I make videos about music, and I drink water. Subscribe.